everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got some good-ish in the house, right? I mean, you can see it clearly in the middle of the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally, finally... MDT has received his first AEW Unrivaled Collection Chase Variant figure, man. I gotta say something about these. I almost made, the other day, I legit, I still may do it. I might still do it, but the other day, I literally was this close to recording a 10-minute video talking about these Chase Variant AEW action figures, man. They're they're ridiculous, man. First of all, they're super duper rare. Like, it, you know, like WWE Mattel Chases, some of them are pretty rare, but outside of that, man, like like these Chase variant figures go for hundreds, upwards of thousands. I've seen the Cody Rhodes AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 1 Chase variant go for like 1500 1200 1800 I think I even saw one at 2000 or so. And it's just crazy how rare these things are. And I say they're rare, but I've seen people say they found them, they, they found three of these at one store. They found two John Moxley's at one store. What the hell are we doing, Brad? I, I've looked everywhere for these Chase variant figures. Figures, and then Brad down in Dudleyville fart bag gets gets seven of them in one store. I mean, what are we doing? The distribution on these things are, are is insane, which I guess adds to the funness. But at the same time, it's just like, what the hell's going? It drives me up the damn wall. I'm about to have a damn conniption in this hoe if I can't find one in the wild. Now I did not find this in the wild. You guys will see here. I gotta give a huge shout out to my man Leo Aguilar for the deal on this MJF because he is a big fan of the channel and he said he wanted to hook me up here, so he gave me a fan fantastic deal on this 1 of 1000 Chase Variant Series 2 Unrivaled Collection MJF in the pink gear and it is in a ringside defender case. Now I am going to get in here and take a closer look at this thing because if you guys have not seen one of these on video or whatever and you, you know you've seen the pictures or whatever but you want to see what it looks like on video and stuff, I do want to get in here. You guys can see the 1 of 1000 sticker on there. It's got the pink attire. Really nice scarf on here. I want to get in the details of this thing, man. You got all these great details on the scarf. I do have have my Series 2 regular MJFs over here for comparison, but really good stuff going on right here, man. You can even notice that the number on here is in red. I guess that's to symbolize 1 of 1,000. I think the 1 in 500, which would be the John Moxley has a gold sticker and it has a gold, you know, number sign on there, but on the back, I don't think, I don't think there's any difference on the back and stuff, but I am super happy to add this to the collection. You guys know that I'm trying to expand on that mock AEW Unrivaled Collection figure set and so this is going to definitely go into that set. I'm still working on getting Series 2 Moxley as well as Series 1 Jericho, Series 1 Cody and Series 3 Riho and Darby and Series 4 Cody and Matt Hardy. I'm trying to track them all down. I want every AEW figure ever mock and I'm going to try my best to make that happen just because I love AEW and I love the figures but we'll see how that goes man but I had to make a video and showcase this MJF but we have plenty of other things that I wanted to show you guys as well but if you guys wanted to know the difference you guys got pink trunks on the Chase variant, and then you have the orangish red gear for the regular, and then of course, that's not all of my MJFs. I also have this suited body one that looks super fire. Huge shout out to my man Dougie Nunya for the inspiration on this Ultimate Warrior suited MJF figure. That's the Legend Series Mattel, and it looks it looks fantastic. Another thing I also wanted to point out, guys, is this one-man gang figure. This custom one-man gang is available on my eBay page. I've been trying to sell it forever, and I'm selling it for somebody, so the price is set. I'm not dropping the price any there, but if you guys would like to add this to your collection, it's over there on the eBay page. If you guys want to go grab that, I'd really appreciate it. You know, if you want the custom one-man gang, I doubt they'll ever make this from Mattel, but, you know, anything's possible, I guess. There's the one-man gang figure if you guys are interested in that, but I'm just, again, I'm super excited to finally have an MJF, or just, a, not an MJF, I have plenty of MJFs, but the Chase variants, man, these Chase variants are just outrageous, bro. They really are, and I, I was literally, if you guys still want to see the video, let me know, because I was just gonna like no script like I mean all of my videos are pretty much unscripted I don't I don't script nothing Brad I just let the hoe roll and we just go with it but if you want to hear 10 minutes of me ranting on these chase variants I got into it a little bit but the fact that somebody can make it that can somebody can find three of a chase variant in the same store is just beyond me like guys are posting images of them with like seven chase MJFs and six chase John 
Moxley's in 37, Cody Rhodes, and it's just like, what the, what the blue hell is that? I know half people can't even find the regular figures, let alone a chase. I have at least found the regular ones. Series 3 hasn't even hit retail as far as the chase variants go. That's a whole nother argument. Series 4 hasn't hit yet, but we can't even, like, I've seen Series 3 in stores like two or three times, and I haven't seen anybody pay, post about a chase variant figure, so that makes me think that they haven't been rolled out yet, which makes me think, are they going to restock Series 3, or or what the hell's going on? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Ringside will post them up, but another thing we also got knocked out of the way, guys, is this Roman Reigns. You guys remember the other day I said I, I was in a custom mood. I did the Seth Rollins. Well, I also knocked out this Roman Reigns, so now his gauntlets match his hoodie, and it looks pretty damn impressive. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's get in here, a zoom in shot. Not going to cover it too long, because it's not too crazy, but all I did was took the gold of the gauntlets, repainted them in white to give them a good base coat, and then came over with that red, and it stands out pretty good. Got some good saturation on there. Ties into the hoodie. Only thing this thing's missing is a badass graphic on it. Maybe a badass graphic on the back. Really sick-ass Roman with that custom BEW head sculpt on it. Really excited for the Roman Reigns back there. Again, one-man gang go buy that hoe. But also, I got my another Elite 82 Finn Balor. So you guys know we got the one that's headless that we did the head swap on. We did the fix-up swap on the Balor on action figure appointments. So there is our little fix-up there. And then I got my new Elite 82, which I plan on doing a custom of as well. And we have the uh, the, the custom of NXT Finn Balor that we had made by BEW forever ago. And we have the custom head sculpt one that BEW made. So the Elite 82 Finn Balor collection is growing, but I still need a few more for customs and fix-ups and stuff. I love this head sculpt. It was my 2020 figure of the year, so I'm going to try and track down as many of these as I possibly can, especially when they're on Amazon for $19.99, man. You got to take that deal pretty much every single time. I'm going to put this in screen. Maybe you get a little, you get a little uh, you got a little something special going on then you may, let's just put them over here just shut the hell up and put them over here how about that there we go all right guys the last thing that i wanted to cover in this video i wanted to cover this right here so i got bored the other day and i have these little templates and so i drew up a custom trey white mdt figure what it would look like if i were to make myself into a figure in wrestling gear a lot of people have always wanted me to do so so i took the time the other day while i was just chilling on lunch you know i'm on lunch and i'm just drawing away i have these little templates template sheets where I've drawn up multiple customs before. I'll show you a blank one so you guys can get the idea of what we're going for here. Well, this one's got a little bit of colors on it, but it basically starts out like this, and then I take my pencil and I go in and do all the details of what it would look like. So here's what we got, right? You got my haircut there, a little flip-flop, a little fade action going around. You got all my tattoos going on there. Nice Seth Rollins. I, I would probably go with the Seth Rollins torso, I think. I think that would work out the best. You got my wing tattoo going down. Got my cross tattoo over here. I have a, a full sleeve right here pretty much. It's a pretty much a full sleeve. It's not completely done, but it's getting there. Uh, I figure just, you know, instead of getting all those decals made, just, you know, do a full black sleeve on there. Black wrist tape over there. You got my other tattoos down here. We got pink tights rocking because, you know, I had to load up some MDT-ass attire right here. So you got the pink tights. You got like this black belt design with the yellow outline. This stripe right here, you're probably like, what the hell is this gibberish going on right here? This is actually, I actually have pictures of it on 2K, so I don't know why the hell I'm rambling on. I have images on 2k of what it actually looks like and i don't know if you could actually download it i'll see what i can do it's on 2k 19 though not 2k 20 but i'll pull up images of it so you guys can see what it looks like so we got the my damn toys logo on the knee pad you have like the blue and off blue sort of stripe going down the side of the tights with the my damn toys at on there on instagram you know like the at with my damn toys going on the side we have a sick ass mdt logo coming down the butt right there off the butt there with the nice graphics on it you got the blue knee pads then we went with the yellow kick pads with the black on the back kind of like Finn Balor it's a little homage to Finn Balor there as well in my attire you know one of my favorite wrestlers then we wrapped it up with some black shoes and pink outsoles there so I also have my ring on right there so I don't know I thought that was pretty cool you know I got all my again I got all my tattoos on here I think this would look super badass in a figure so I, I figured I would put the concept on paper and then maybe one day I could bring the thing to life but there is what uh, uh, an MDT in figure form or an MDT attire would look like. So there you go. That That's my best case there. But I wanted to put this video up, guys, because I had a lot of stuff to show off to you and everything like that. I think I'm going to do my fast lane predictions tomorrow since we have SmackDown tonight. I'm also going to be watching the uh, NCAA basketball tournament. March Madness starts today as far as day one of the tournament, so I'm super excited about that. Going to get some food, fart in a bag, and smell it. Should be pretty fun day there, but let's get into our random shout-out before we get the hell out of here, guys. Ahoy! 
So this shout out is gonna go to Fredo the Potato, or Frito the Potato, I don't know the, the difference there. But he says, sadly my dog chewed up my Elite 71 Adam Cole. I looked at the price of an Elite 71 Adam Cole and then said, dog, you crossed the line. I ended up buying the fan takeover and switching the lower legs and it was like brand new. I said to myself, you got a little something special going on there, young man. So Frito slash Fredo's got a lot of something special going on there, yo, with, with, the, with the new fix up Adam Cole. So huge shout out to you, man. I hate that your dog effed up your Adam Cole figure, but hopefully all is well now with that thing. But a huge shout out to my man Leo again for the deal in the MJF. I am super excited to expand that, put that in the collection. I think it's going to be absolutely great. But let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below, guys. Do you guys own a Chase variant? Have you ever looked at a damn Chase variant AEW figure? What do you think of the MDT attire? You know, if you have any cooler ideas, let me know. I made a few different versions, but I think I like this one best. You know, just a little bait, you know, like a little Elite One Trey White figure. And if you guys would ever be interested in a Trey White figure like this, I've thought about actually mass producing a bunch of custom Trey White in wrestling gear figures or something like that and if you guys would be interested in something like that let me know maybe we can make something happen but thank you for watching guys shout out to Frito Fredo the potato man and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video so I'm getting the hell out of here guys don't cross the line or I don't know you'll you won't ever find a chase variant how about that wouldn't be any different you cross the line I've been beat